Hey there in front of the screens, it's good to see you over there and thanks so much for all the support during the last 19 gear videos from the outdoor show in Friedrichshafen. This is going to be a wrap up where I'm going to be like musing, ranting, whatever, pondering about the outdoor show and yeah. But first up, I want to disclose a couple of things. So the first one is that I'm a founder of the Outdoor Blogger Network. And in that position, I am cooperating since three years with the Messe Friedrichshafen. So we're the official blogger partner on the Outdoor Show. We've been like organizing the blogger base, keynote speakers, programs, blogger walks and so on. So, but all these videos that I've made that you've seen the uh, last couple of weeks, um, that's just me, Hendrik, the content creator, blogger, vlogger, photographer. So um, those two things are separate, but they're also somehow interweaved. Just that you're aware of that and that you're not feeling like uh, I'm dishonest or something with like that with you. As you might have heard, this was the last outdoor show in Friedrichshafen. So it's like outdoor with a big D. Um, that's like a brand of the European Outdoor Group and they sold that brand to the Messe München. So that's the, the fair organization which organizes always the ISPO in January, February, which is more the ski, general, everything, sports uh, fair. And they're now also going to be hosting the outdoor with a big D <laughs> show in the summer. So in 2019, that show will be in Munich and yeah, I honestly am not sure how it's going to be. Um, I always really enjoyed Friedrichshafen. It's a bit of a pain in the ass to get to Friedrichshafen because it's a bit like out of the way down there at the uh, Lake Constance. But for me, I either way need to travel by plane to Germany. So for me, it's almost the same if I fly directly to Munich or if I fly to Zurich and then take the train and the ferry over, which is a really enjoyable trip and just adds like two hours uh, to it. Um, that's like only one hour more than if you go to Munich, because in Munich you got this massive long metro ride that also takes around an hour to get into town and another 20, 30 minutes to get to the fair. So yeah, the other thing in Munich that's pretty unsure is the whole accommodation thing. Munich is a massive city. It's really expensive. The question for a lot of us content creators is, is there going to be some kind of campground at the fairground in Munich next year at the outdoor with a big D? Or yeah, what, what are you going to do uh, in Munich so that we content creators we, we can't afford uh, a lot of money on like spending on a hotels or even a youth hostel in Munich is like 300 euros for yeah four or five nights. So it's, it's not cheap to go to a fair in Munich. Whereas in Friedrichshafen, you can camp outside. That's like four euros a night. That's pff, awesome. So yeah, that's that's a big question, but I don't, I don't want to delve too much on this topic of how is it going to be in Munich? Um, the important thing to mention maybe at this point still is that the Messe Friedrichshafen is going to make their own outdoor show in 2019. It's obviously going to be slightly differently branded than the outdoor as it has been in the past. Um, and the concept too is going to be different. And yeah, um, I'm really curious and uh, if it is more appealing to me to go to Friedrichshafen then I probably would go there simply because I like the location so much. The lake is gorgeous, the scenery is gorgeous, the people are really warm, uh, it's a small town, it's, it's just a really good atmosphere. You can see the Alps, so yeah, <laughs> really like Friedrichshafen as you can see, but yeah. Gotta, gotta see uh, w what's happening in 2019, I hope in a month or three we know more and then, then I can decide. Okay, enough about the future, that's still a little bit of uncertain. Let's have a look at the Outer Show 2018 in Friedrichshafen. It was a really good show, like last years, the last couple of years I felt like Mm, I don't know, but this year the vibe was really good. Um, it felt like there were less people there, which I always like. I don't am really 
good with big crowds so it was really nice to have uh, the hallways were almost empty it was really easy to walk it was easy to just walk onto a boot and then like okay can you tell me more about whatever it is that they had over there so that was a, a really good experience and the vibe was just it was really really good so um so yeah obviously i missed some people like houdini and reuk um, i work very closely with both of these brands and it was a bit of a shame to not meet my friends from these companies over there but there were a lot of other people at the fair that it was really good to meet and i've written this in the last three four years uh, always uh, the best thing about the outdoor show for me always and also the ispo in this case always are the people it's just such a pleasure to meet friends that you only know digitally or usually only keep in touch digitally via twitter facebook your blogs and so on so it's so good to meet those people in real life and like just sit down and have a coffee chat come up with ideas what you can do together and stuff like that that's just it's it's so good i really that's the best thing about this whole fair obviously the gear is amazing i'm a gear nerd uh, i really love the gear to show but meeting those people my friends that's oh, it's even better <laughs> yeah so that's that's certainly the best thing at the outdoor show and the ispo always so gear second uh, people first but gear, yeah, that's that's what I've been showing in the last 19 videos. Uh, just looking at the stats, the uh, Thermarest New Air Uber Light, that is like the big item. That's what you have been most curious about. Followed up by the Nemo Equipment Rocket 2 P10. They are really, really close together. Those two videos are like through the roof. Also, the Black Diamond Distance Tent has gotten a massive amount of likes. People are really liking that design and the ease of use to pitching it with the tracking pole. So basically, if you are into ultralight backpacking, pitching your tent with the tracking poles is nothing new. But I think for a lot of mainstream people, uh, pitching your tent with tracking poles is something new. So it's really exciting. So it's really nice to see that people are so excited about that tent. So. Other things that I found really positive overall on the fair was that in the past you always have seen that companies have been talking about sustainability, environmental, social production and so on. And this was finally the year, last year already a little bit, but this year it was everywhere. Everyone is doing something good that is sustainable. It's socially well made. Um, the gear can be recycled. It's often made out of recycled materials or uses really well sourced natural materials. It's fair made either in Europe or in the Far East. And yeah, so that is something that's, it's really close to my heart. So it was amazing to see that there was such a massive amount of recycled, sustainable, recyclable, gear and equipment, apparel, shoes, everything on the outdoor show in Friedrichshafen. That was certainly, yeah, that was amazing. I really, really enjoyed that a lot. Otherwise, it's usually the question, what was standing out? So yeah, I, I'm like you over there, the new air Uber light, uh, amazing. Like I, more than the weight, it's for me the pack size because smaller is always easier for me because it allows me to take like, a smaller backpack so that was amazing to see that mattress also i really did like the uh, nemo uh, rocket 2p tent that looked like a really good design and i'm not sure about the pack size but it looked like it's going to be uh, really small and you could fit it with a 20 liter pack sack like this one over here because i live in finland as you know uh winter camping the mountain equipment aerostat mattress that was pretty cool so it's a lot lighter than x-speed mattresses uh, a little bit more heavy than my tamarest x-term mattress but it looked like it's going to be a lot warmer uh, you don't need to inflate it with your mouth but you have this uh, handy sack to inflate it so that was pretty cool uh, did like that too um 
Apparel wise, uh, I really like that 48 gram <laughs> distance jacket from Black Diamond or Deploy jacket, something like that. And also the uh, small backpack from Black Diamond looked really good. Um, then there was uh, NW Alpine, they are now using Spectra fibers in their garments. Those looked really cool, should be really abrasion resistant, so great if you're like climbing uh, a lot in an outdoors, bushwhacking, that kind of stuff, that should be like really good for that. I usually don't use anything like a spot or an inReach, but I had a look at the inReach Mini and that was, it was it fitted into the palm of my hand so, so I got small hands and it was it was tiny so that was pretty cool uh, also the Norvan SL from Arcterix the new trail running shoe that is 185 gram that was pretty exciting and of course also the uh, La Sportiva Captiva that was a little bit more heavy at 280 grams but it had a lot of cushioning so I think for really long runs or even really long hikes on very hard undergrounds that should be a really good shoe to you so uh, that wears uh, I think so the, the, the things that stood out most for me all right so that were my thoughts on gear the outdoor, the future outdoor, this outdoor, all the amazing people I met at the outdoor. And yeah, also a big thumbs up to you guys for watching all these videos, asking questions, giving me the thumbs up, which I really appreciate. So now I actually will jump on the train and move to Helsinki. And if you're curious about outdoor life in Helsinki, uh, I will be going hiking with my kids. So if you're curious about all these kind of things that you can do in Helsinki outdoor wise, uh, hit the subscribe button and follow along also on social media. Links are in the description and I'm looking forward to share more stories with you from Helsinki and Finland, Scandinavia and wherever my feet or my bike will bring me. Thanks for watching. Peace out.